Hello, my name is Mary Wister and I am the Science and Operations Officer at the National Weather Service in Pendleton. Forecasters at the National Weather Service are anticipating a fairly active week with thunderstorms and breezy winds. Many people will be preparing for their holiday vacation and probably would like to know exactly what is in the forecast for their area. This presentation is divided into temperatures, precipitation, and winds that hopefully will help you in your decision making. Let's start with the temperature forecast for this week and over the 4th of July weekend. Temperatures will climb into the 80s and 90s Tuesday and Wednesday across South Central and Southeast Washington and Central and Northeast Oregon. Wednesday will be the hottest day this upcoming week for most of the area. In fact, there may be several locations near the Tri-Cities reaching the 100 degree mark for the first time this season. Although it is not shown here, forecasters are anticipating overnight lows in the mid-50s to mid-60s Tuesday night. It will not be as hot Thursday and Independence Day as well as the remainder of the holiday weekend. Afternoon temperatures will be in the 80s to lower 90s for most of the area. Overnight lows will primarily be in the mid 40s to mid 50s. Now let's take a look at the potential for showers and thunderstorms this week. A Pacific frontal system will move inland Tuesday night and there is a possibility of nocturnal thunderstorms Tuesday night in central Oregon. The threat of thunderstorms will expand across the remainder of central and northeast Oregon and south central and southeast Washington on Wednesday. Some thunderstorms may be strong and a few may be severe with heavy rain, hail and gusty winds possible. The system will exit the region by Thursday, but the air mass will remain unstable in eastern Oregon. Therefore, we are looking at isolated thunderstorms from the Blue Mountains and John Day Basin east of the Idaho border on Thursday and on the 4th of July. Forecasters are not anticipating thunderstorm activity on Saturday, but a few showers are possible over the northeast mountains. Only a slight chance of thunderstorms is forecast for Eastern Oregon on Sunday. Now for the wind forecast this week. The system moving across the region Tuesday night and Wednesday will also result in breezy to windy conditions, especially in the lower Columbia Basin and surrounding valleys. The strongest winds will likely occur in the Kittitas Valley and the Eastern Columbia River Gorge. This increases the threat of fire spread, and fire weather forecasters may be issuing statements to highlight these concerns. Locally breezy winds are expected Thursday and the 4th of July. So, summarize what to expect this week and the holiday weekend. It will become very warm Tuesday and Wednesday. Highs will be in the mid-80s to upper 90s on Wednesday. Isolated thunderstorms will develop in Central Oregon Tuesday night. Thunderstorms will increase in coverage Wednesday. Some storms may be strong or possibly severe with large hail, heavy rain, and gusty winds. Breezy to locally windy conditions can be expected over portions of the Lower Columbia Basin, the Kittitas Valley, and the Eastern Columbia River Gorge on Wednesday. Isolated to scattered thunderstorms can be expected over the Blue Mountains and the Wallowa Mountains Thursday and Independence Day. Slightly cooler temperatures were expected with highs in the 80s to lower 90s. There's only a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms in the eastern mountains the remainder of the holiday weekend. Highs will be in the 80s to lower 90s. Here are some tips to keep in mind. Fires are always a concern in early July. Monitor campfires and fireworks at all times. Some campfires and fireworks are strictly prohibited by city and county officials and land management agencies. Do the right thing and follow the rules and regulations. Thunderstorms will increase the probability of wildfires. If camping or hiking, make sure you have an immediate evacuation plan and keep a close eye for developing storms. Thunderstorms, especially Wednesday, 
may bring heavy rain, hail, and gusty winds. Remember, when thunder roars, go indoors. If you hear thunder, you are close enough to be struck by lightning. Stay cool and drink plenty of water if outdoors this week and over the weekend. Don't forget the sunscreen. Pets and children should never remain in an enclosed vehicle during the summer. So far this year, there have been 13 heat stroke deaths in the United States from children left in vehicles. If camping, don't forget your NOAA weather radio. On behalf of the National Weather Service in Pendleton, Oregon, I want to thank you for listening. Have a safe and happy 4th of July.